Hey everyone, I'm going to do a haul, a review, and a showing of the Halloween sample box from Cupcake Candles. I found out about Cupcake Candles um, after doing a search for candle and wax tart vendors as well as soap vendors here on YouTube. I came across the channel for Cupcake Candles and I subscribed. And then about a day or two later, I would say... Um, I saw a video in my feed and um, I was kind of impressed and intrigued with the products so I went over to the website took a look at some of the items and then I had a couple of questions so I messaged the owner whose name is Drea she was really nice she got back to me right away um, she gave me a detailed response which I really appreciated so I was clear on everything uh, I decided to place a small order. She sent me some samples to try out as well. Um, I've had these for a few weeks. And um, so if they needed to cure, they have cured already. And I've started melting them. So what I'm going to do is show you the website for Cupcake Candles. Then I will come back and show you what I purchased and um, I'll give a, a review of hmm, two of the things that I've melted and then I'll take a look at the sampler and just show you what I got in the sampler box alright so the website is cupcakecandles.biz and here's the banner and I will provide a link below to the website as well as to the YouTube channel and Facebook page for Cupcake Candles. You can stop by the Facebook page. Please like the page and also stop in and just say hi to Drea. She's really nice and she will welcome you to her page. Now Drea has a lot of categories here on her website um, and I like her website because I like the colors. They're easy on the eye and um, it's easy to navigate this page everything is right at the top as soon as you come to the page all of the categories are there um, cupcake wax melts the cupcake box uh, bakery scent shots cupcake scent shots which are so adorable I have to get some of those bakery jar candles uh, I love it bakery bath and body products I have to check that out as well her scent list is the second item listed so you know if you want to see scent descriptions you can click there all right and the other thing that I like is that she's got products displayed right on the front so you don't have to wonder you've got a visual of everything without looking around um, and this is these are products that she's featuring so it's just nice to see these. There's the uh, cupcake scent shot and the top of this is so adorable. Um, I totally love her packaging. I'm really impressed with the packaging. I have never seen anything like this before. Um, so yeah, I, I gotta give it to her for that. Um, also, just the look of everything. These are the pop tarts. I have two of those. One I purchased, one she sent me as a sample. I'm just so impressed. I'm impressed with the scent so far. And just the look of it. It's so authentic looking. Uh, here we have the mini pie tarts. The mini apple pie tarts. And here are the macarons. Okay. And um, here are some uh, soy scent cups. So really nice. Uh, so you know, again, take a look at her site. And, uh, you know, if you decide to purchase anything from her, please let me know. Uh, these are her mini donuts. And then over here, which I'm going to show you, is a, a big chunk. It's a cake piece. And I have one. It smells so good. <laughs> Alright. Now, the other thing that she has on her site, which I am considering getting, she has a, um, a autumn sample box that is going to be it goes on sale November 1st and it's twenty dollars plus shipping and handling so I'm thinking about getting that so that should be pretty cool 
All right, so now I'm going to show you what I purchased, and I'll just give you a brief look at what's here on the table. And this is what I purchased and samples that I received. And then over here is the sampler, the items that came in the sampler box. All right, so right now I am melting um, the one of the mini apple pie tarts. I received two in the package, so two of them came in this wrapper. And let me see if I can zoom in. Okay, and it's very authentic looking, and it smells good now. There's cinnamon in this, and I usually kind of back away from cinnamon, but this is um, a slight amount of cinnamon. There's enough that you know it's there, but it does not overpower the rest of the tart. I do get the apple scent in this one, and I get a crust, a pie crust scent, so that's good. Now, this one is not a super strong tart. I would say this is um, a light to medium scent. It is filling up the room. Uh, so that qualifies as medium in my opinion um, but it's not like it doesn't really knock you out um, it doesn't make you say whoa it's just you know a mellow scent and that's great um, some people really like the mellow scents I tend to like them really like in your face and just strong um, however in this particular blend it's nice so this is hot apple pie and that's what it smells like. It smells like an apple pie that just came out of the oven. Like very fresh. The next one that I have here, which I've already melted one of them. I received two of these. I purchased, yeah, I purchased this. Um, and this is the macaron or macaroon, however you say it. But you know what I mean. Um, I just am not sure which pronunciation is correct. And this smells so good. Now, these are soy wax products, so they do melt to the touch. Um, and, yeah, these are really good. Now, I melted this one in a 24-watt warmer in my bedroom. It gave a medium scent. It was light in that it didn't hit me in the face. Um, but I'm calling this a medium scent because it filled up my entire bedroom. And what was nice about this, I started melting this about an hour before I went to sleep. And normally when I do that, I have to turn off the warmer because the scents are way too strong. Um, and it just, you know, it was nice. I didn't have to turn this one off. It was really good. I was able to sleep through the night with it going, and it was good. And when I woke up in the morning, I could still smell a sweet creaminess. I went to work, and when I came back home, I couldn't smell it. But I think that qualifies as, you know, a good tart. Because if I can wake up in the morning and still smell it, then that's good. Very, um very well made I mean look at this it looks like the real thing you know it's it looks so good like I totally cannot wait to melt this one and I'll probably melt this one here in the den uh, just to see how it does in this warmer so really good and like I said it did fill up my bedroom which was nice no complaints on the scent the scent is a creamy buttercream type of a scent but there's something about it. You know how a cookie has a little bit of a fruit filling? That's what this reminds me of. A fruity buttercream but not super strong. Um, it's more like a gourmet cookie type of a scent. Like a gourmet uh, bakery scent. Um, so a cookie that has that little bit of um, jam in it. That's what that smells like. Alright. Here are the mini donuts. I have two of these in my warmer in my bedroom so um, I'll be back with a review of this um, and so you have uh, just a really nice soy wax tart and I'm gonna leave these in the package because when I touch them they start to melt now I remember um, in 
just corresponding with Drea. I think that she's making a slight change to the wax or she may have already done it. I'm not sure if she's going to be using a paraffin blend or um, or what, a parasoy blend, I'm not sure. But um, she did mention that to me that she was going to be doing that. And um, here's a look at the Pop-Tarts. Now this one is in, here's a little baggie for it. This is vanilla scented. And I do get a buttercream bakery note. Um, it's a sugary sweet note. So, yeah, very sweet. And it's nice. This one I did not open. I want to leave it in the package because these are so soft and, you know, it's wrapped so nicely. And this one is in the scent Strawberry Cupcake. So that's pretty cool. Alright, and then here is the cake piece. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I love this. Look at the... It, it looks so authentic. And I love when... Um, as you'll see wax all over my fingers because it's like kind of melting as I touch it. But this is pure um, soy wax. And it smells so good. I get a blueberry note. And it smells light right now, but the blueberry is definitely coming through. So we'll see how uh, how it does in a few days when I melt it. Really nice. And it's got the sprinkles on top, so it's good. Okay, so let me put that down and let me rub my hands together. I need all of the moisturizing I can get on my hands because I have such dry skin. But this could totally be like a, well, I don't know, but I'm going to rub it on my skin. All right, now on to the sampler. Okay, so in the sampler box were two of these. Um, these are what she calls the scent shots. Um, let's see, bakery scent shot. And this one is in Frosty the Snowman, and I love the scent on this because it has peppermint in it, and I love, 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 love peppermint. I am totally in love with the packaging. I've never seen a vendor use packaging like this, and I'm totally recycling these little containers. Mm, I like the peppermint in this. It's not too strong. It's not going to slap you in the face. It's not going to take over. You'll still be able to pick up on the other notes, which are um, vanilla. It seems, mm, it seems very creamy. So that's a nice one. And then this is blueberry cheesecake. And I don't think I sniffed this one. Let's see. So that's what it looks like. Now I'm not, I'm not getting as much scent from this just yet. I get more of a blueberry scent from this cake piece that I just showed you, this one here, than I do from this um, blueberry cheesecake bakery scent shot. So we'll see. We'll see when I melt it. And I, I got a candle. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So here we have... Um, cupcake candles gourmet bakery jar candle and this is in banana nut bread in a four ounce jar and I have to say I, I'm so impressed with how good this smells it's unbelievable to me this is what it looks like mmm oh my goodness it smells so good it smells authentic it smells just like a um I was going to say a fresh bake, but a banana bread that is baking in the oven or that was just taken out of the oven. It has warmth to it. It it The notes are perfect. I hope that this candle burns well because I really want to enjoy this one. Oh my goodness, I like that. Okay, now, uh, since I'm at 14 minutes, I'm going to reach into the bag and... Oops, see what's in there. 
And I love the bag. I really like, you know, how creative she is. And um, putting together the themes. Really nice. So let's see here. So here's um, a sample of Mrs. Santa Claus cookies. And it's just a cute cupcake. That is so cute. And it's flat. So it's really cute. And then, oh, here's a jack-o'-lantern. And this is in the scent, um, Trick or Treat. So I want to smell this now. This might end up replacing the candle that I wanted to burn on um, Halloween. Because that candle um, is from a different vendor. Not, It's not from cupcake candles. And that candle has no scent. Okay, so I'm not sure about this one. I have to see. And then here. Oh, this is banana cream pie. Oh, I am totally getting into banana scents. I love her labels. So let's see. I really want to smell this one. Oh, I'm at 16 minutes. Let me just cut this. Alright, so this one, oh, I love the look of it. So it says banana cream pie. This is really melty. I don't think I want to take this out. Mmm. Oh, I may have to melt this. Oh, wow, all of my warmers have something in it, so. Mmm, I want to melt that now. That doesn't smell like a candy banana to me. It smells like banana pudding. Okay, and then here I have some of the full scent shots. Okay, and I probably won't take them out since this video is already so long. But this one is iced cinnamon buns. And then this next one is frosted pumpkin cinnamon donuts. So I will definitely try these. I will try this one first. The Frosted Pumpkin Cinnamon Donuts. Wow. And then one final sample that I received is Lemon Pound Cake. So I'm looking forward to melting this. And let's just see here. Oh. Not bad. Not bad. And I love the look of this. That's cool that they're flat like that. That's so cute. Yeah, so I'm really excited about this order. I will come back with a review of these and let you know how I like them. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you uh, decided to order from this vendor. And um, I'll be back soon with a Melt in My Stash review. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.